Hello everyone, my name is Trittany and I'm the reader here for the Crown and Castle Collective, where we're all kings and queens of our own kingdom that we call life. This is a pick a deck style reading over um, separation from your person that happens to be in masculine energy. So we're going to check up where their head and their heart space are and how they're feeling about being in this separation. Now this separation is if you are going through a separation on good terms. As in, things didn't leave off on a sour note. Things aren't really rough between the two of you during the separation or while the separation happened, you know. Um, so this is like good terms uh, just to energetically check up on what they're doing and what challenges they're facing and how they want you to feel right now during this separation. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, don't be afraid to give the video a like if you feel like I'm resonating with you as a reader. Um, let me know in the comments how this is resonating with you and your situation. Or you can subscribe to see more of my future videos. To everyone who has been doing so and interacting with my channel, I want to thank you. It always means a lot to me. Um, if there's any video that you would like to see that you would want to request for me as a reader, please let me know down in the comments. That helps me a lot when it comes to deciding what to do. Um, since I don't have a community page of a thousand followers, I can't really do polls, so any, any idea helps. <laughs> so, there are two decks to choose from. The timestamps will also be down below as well. The first pile that we have is the Wildwood Tarot. It's a green deck. It's a very big deck. So this is the first deck. Or you can go with deck number two, which is the traditional Rider weight Tarot. So deck number one and deck number two for the messages of your masculine in separation. We are going to start off with the Wildwood Tarot, which is deck number one. And there's deck number two still over there. Alright, so I already have a couple of oracle cards drawn to see their current energies um, and how they want you to feel during the separation and the challenges that they're facing and just the energy they want you to stay in and keep in mind during this separation. Okay, pile, deck number one, my bad. So the energy that your person, your masculine energy is in during the separation, we have number 41, belonging. So it says a heart chakra energy and adds up to five, which to me is a very creative, beautiful home stability kind of number. Um, with this belonging card and it being heart chakra, I feel like this person, no matter how far away they may be, they know that their heart belongs to you and vice versa. This person really feels a yearning for you, a deep connection that no matter how far they travel, um, their heart is always at home with you. We also have freedom. This person could be leaving on work that this person really enjoys to do. It really gives them a sense of adventure, a sense of freedom. Um, this person wants you to be able to trust them and no matter how far away they go, how the distance is. This person is a very adventurous. They could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or that could just be very prominent in their chart or in their personality. This person likes to travel. So um, they want you to be able to trust them in their ventures because you're, they're always thinking about you when they're gone. And they like the trust that they are able to get from you while they're away. That means so much to them. It honestly does. Um, and they're constantly thinking about you and their family. So we also have true love with that. Again, their heart belongs to you. They absolutely love and adore you. Um, there's really no question about that. It says true love right on there. So that's pretty self-explanatory with that 41, this belonging card. They just are so smitten with you and they are very committed to you as well. The biggest challenge that they are facing during this separation though is number 44, letting go of the old. Um, I feel like this is on both sides. 
I feel like things were good with you guys before the separation, but there may be like minor, like minimal things that, you know, when distance is evolved, um, insecurities can come up. I feel like they're really wanting those to diminish with you. So they want to be able to prove to them, prove to you that they can go off and do business and travel and do whatnot, but they are still loyal to you. They're still belonging to you. They kind of want those old insecurities and misbeliefs and deceptions to really diminish with this let go of the old. Um, yeah. So the energy that they want you to be in during this separation is number nine, concentration. They want you to be fully self-sufficient, independent in your own power um, and really concentrate and hunker down on your education, your work. Uh, finding a job or working at your job that you have now and really taking steps towards your own personal goals. They want you to concentrate on yourself and really put all of your energy towards yourself instead of perhaps, you know, putting as much energy into them if they were around. Not in a negative way at all. So we also have the energy that they want you to be in during the separation. Here is a hair long hair problems. They want you to also be in this release energy. So I feel like this is you who may be, you know, having to release some insecurities, some self-doubts, um, trusting old trust habits, you know, that may be broken. They want you to release those kinds of things and release this deception energy that you may have of them during their travels. They really want you to let go of those. And they're kind of feeling this as a, the biggest challenge that they're feeling, I feel like is coming from you. They don't want you to feel like you can't trust them, that you're going to deceive them, that they're going to de deceive you while they're out on the road or vice versa. This person could have been in a past relationship where they had to travel for business and their partner at the time didn't stay loyal to them. So maybe they're working to release on those kinds of fears too. And perhaps you have equally or similar kind of distrust in those kinds of areas. So... That's just kind of the overall energy that they're in and they're wanting you to be in. Um, again, these are things left on good terms. These are just, you know, self-doubts and whatnot and energetic feelings that we may have. So we are going to tap into the masculine's energy to see where they are in their headspace and heart space towards this separation. Where are the divine masculines of... Pile number one, deck number one, where are they at in their headspace and in their heart space towards this separation? Where are they at in their headspace and in their heart space? Spirit. The divine masculines of collective number one. Where are they at in their headspace and in their heart space? And I'm finding out that these are some very stubborn masculine energies in these collectives because shuffling those oracle cards was way harder than it normally is. And I think we have a few stubborn masculine energies on our hands, regardless of what pile you chose. <laughs> Alright, Divine Masculines, give me one more. What is in your head and heart space during this separation? Alright. For their head space and heart space, where are they at? In their heart space. Okay. So for the Divine Masculines in Collective Number 1, in their headspace, the first card that we have here is Number 9, the Hooded Man, which I kind of take as the Hermit card, which can be represented by Virgo. Take it or leave it. It's just energetic. So this person could feel like when they're out traveling in this separation, not maybe not traveling, but just in this separation, they particularly feel alone. Um, this could be by choice or it could just be by removal from society. Um, the groups that they're with could be people that they just don't mesh well. So they could be surrounded by people, but yet feeling very alone. Um, but it's just a very inward energy. 
but you notice this tiny little bird here as well and this light in the lantern. You bring a little bit of lightness to this person's energy. Perhaps they're in a heavier energy in this separation, but you tend to bring, you always bring good news, good vibes, good energy into this person and they appreciate that and they really appreciate everything that you have to say and it really warms them up whenever they hear you talk or hear your voice and all they can think about right now too is this person could have been gone for a while um this person really misses home as well we have the knight of vessels or the knight of cups right next to it so this person definitely is in a sorrowful energy really missing you um wishing that they could just sneak back home maybe or sneak and come visit you during this separation um maybe they're not even it's not like a permanent separation but they they just want to come and visit you like even if it's just for a day or for a weekend they just want to sneak over to your place and come and see you and be with you and really be emotionally available with you so also in their headspace we have the king of stones so i feel like this is where work is coming in uh this person is definitely they're showing up really secluded for some reason again like i said they could be working with other people or surrounded by other people but they just feel removed. Um, this, this king of pentacles, this king of stones. So they're really prioritizing, if they could be gone for business, they're really just prioritizing that fact that they need to make money. So this is something that needs to be done as much as it may pain them. But they find a lot of pride perhaps in what they do or what they're doing during their separation. Um, it's still allowing for them to be them. And I mean, I don't feel, don't feel any straying energy during the separation, so no worries. No, I don't think they're cheating on you. That's not the type of energy anyways that we we're trying to tap into, but this is separation. So if they were, it would come up. Uh, so we also have with that, this king of stones, it shows up with this three of stones. So again, this is why I'm just getting that business vibe. Someone who's willing to... Put themselves through something that may be a little bit painful to be able to establish security with those three of stones um perhaps this is a new job so they're not quite sure how to work um perhaps they don't know all the co-workers so it's just things are kind of awkward but this person could be getting a little bit tired of having to leave repetitively if that's if they're always gone if this person's not gone for work in their spare time, they're literally, this feels like someone who is a builder, a creator, someone who is just working and keeping their head down, but also perhaps behind closed doors, doing things that they love, doing their passions, creating, drawing, producing, um, building up themselves, perhaps working out. That's a lot of the energy that's coming in. It's very physical 3D energy, staying busy around those kinds of things but also really yearning to be back with you, even to just come and visit you for a short while and perhaps even like, yeah, just really be in your loving presence. So in their heart space, we have the 10 of bows responsibility. I feel like since uh, this did show up earlier, you do have a little bit of perhaps insecurities. We all do. Um, so this Ten of Bows is responsibility. I feel like this person could have just left too. Perhaps they're going to be gone for a little bit longer. But they're really putting in the back-breaking work to maybe sustain your relationship, your home life. This person's really doing the hard work. Um, they're completely focused. With that, next to it is the Page of Bows, the Stoke. So this could be seen as like someone who's sly, who's a player. But it's seen as a complete opposite with this Ten of Bows right next to it. This person's only making advances towards you. They're flirting towards you, perhaps. Um, they're always daydreaming and thinking about you, thinking about coming in and stopping and visiting you, you know, just like some some sly, sexy stuff like that. Um, they're really only daydreaming about you is what I'm getting. They're surrounded by so many other people. This Eight of Bows hearth fire is right next to it. So they could get advances from other people or be around other people who have persuading energy, but this person's not interested. Right next to that is the Six of Stones, which is exploitation. This person would never, ever, especially right now during the separation, ever want to exploit you, your kindness, and your emotions. So I feel like this person is very loyal to you. Um, perhaps their buddies and their friends are always trying to talk them into some 
some stuff that shouldn't be done. This person's not really down for that. They Maybe they've been hurt in the past and they can never imagine doing that to you or vice versa. So this person... This person... <laughs> There's a, there's a rake right here, or you could call it a hoe, is broken. This person does not want to be a hoe at all. So in their heart space, they are completely loyal to you. Um, so that should really help kind of give you a sense of, sense of relief. Because if you do have a little bit of insecurities and self-doubts and just a little bit worrying about them, they're not going to stray. They're really trying to work really hard at what they're doing, probably make a name for themselves as well. Um, if this person's not gone for work again, they're just really trying to put in the effort of the 3D world to make a name for themselves, to make themselves noticeable in the, maybe in their job or in their activities that they do, their hobbies. Perhaps they're just trying to get a little bit into the spotlight. And their friends could have alternative motives, trying to just get them to go out all the time. And they are just very focused in a very mature energy. And they would never want to hurt you and exploit you and ruin what they have built in the relationship with you. So, yeah. That's really all we have time for. It's just a quick glimpse into the headspace and heart space and the energy of your divine masculine during your separation. So, if this resonated, please let me know down in the comments what's going on with you. Uh, you can give the video a like or you can subscribe to see more of my future videos. I do also offer personalized readings, so all that information is down in the description box and they're for really good prices too. So don't forget to check all that stuff out and thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Collective number two, what energy is your person in? Okay, deck number two, the energy that your person is in, your masculine energy, is this number 10 generosity. So this is a brown color, so I think of the root chakra, this is very earthy energy, very grounded energy. So we're looking at Capricorn, Tauruses, and Virgo. Those aren't sign specific, but those are the energies that we're taking a look at. So with this generosity, and also right next to it, we have patience. Again, I'm seeing more of those brown colors, so those are just really bringing me very very much so down to earth um the energy that this person's in during the separation is that generosity so this person is really wanting to reach out to you um perhaps you guys haven't spoken it's a little bit on and off but this person has been patient and very very timing of when to reach out to you and when to say what they want to i feel like this person wants to not strike a nerve with you in the worst way but like they want to they want to change the dynamic. This person is very, very attracted to you with this attraction card. Um, yeah, this person just has a lot of lust for you. And I feel like they're trying to be very sly and timing full with what they say and how they say it and how they reach out to you and how they present themselves to you. you now, the biggest blockage and fear and challenge that this person is facing is this number seven, do not fear the unknown. With this number 14, have courage. This is a Leo card. I'm seeing a lot of earth and fire. So um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, not sign specific, just the energy. But this person definitely has very strong feelings for you and they're very aware of it. I feel like they're feeling it down to their core with those root chakra cards. Um, this person, I feel like if this separation was on good terms, um, which it should be with this video, this person may not know when they're going to see you again with this number seven, do not fear the unknown. Number seven, I look up, look at as a life path number. So this person may not know if they're ever going to actually run into you again. And if they were to never see you again, that would just scare this person. 
But with this have courage card, I'm feeling it more as in this person really has to gain up a lot of courage to be able to approach you. Um, that's why they're being so meticulous with how they're approaching you and how they're presenting themselves to you and how they're having such, such patience and courage to be able to approach you. Um, even if that's just messaging you or actually coming back into your life. So the energy that they want you to be in is this number five, energetic movement. Um, number five to me is a very creative, flowy, um, advanced, happy-go-lucky, stable, but yet adaptable number. So this person kind of wants you to go along with their charade. Uh, I feel like this person gets really nervous when they try to approach you via message or in person. So the fact that you can be very flowy and go with the energetic levels really helps this person, but they want you to move along with them and go at their pace. Uh, this person wants to have the upper hand on you. They want to be a little bit more dominant, but you could be a very dominant um, personality type yourself. But, you know, I feel like since you have this number five energetic movement, this is what they want from you, but I feel like you're able to accomplish it. So I feel like you're able to kind of Use your judgment. <laughs> uh, they also want you to have this opportunity card. So I'm seeing this with their patience and their generosity of them reaching out. They want you to heed their opportunity to see them again, to be with them again, to perhaps meet up with them. And they want you to take the opportunity or perhaps present the opportunity to talk to them. Maybe they want you to hit them up sometimes because they get so shy, I feel like. Um, they just want to be with you again. And also we have this codependency card. So I feel like this person really likes you, but they want you to want them more than they want you right now. I feel like this person really yearns for you and has a lot of lust for you. So keeping that in mind, we are going to start with the tarot decks. If that first part didn't resonate with you, I would advise you stick around for the tarot cards because sometimes different messages will come through and sometimes um, they will just clarify. We're going to look at where they're at in their head and heart space during the separation. Spirit, where are these divine masculines at in their head space and in their heart space during this separation? So the first card that flipped out is this Knight of Cups. You could be a water sign, a Cancer is Pisces Scorpio, not sign specific, but I feel like you are a very lovey-dovey, romantic, attractive energy that this person wants to court and come towards. But this is also an apologetic kind of energy, kind of a sorrowful, regretful energy I'm picking up on. So we will see what comes through. Where are the Divine Masculines at in their headspace and in their heart space? Give me one more. One good one. These Divine Masculines are so difficult. I tell you, even just shuffling those Oracle cards, I had a way harder time than I should have. these divine masculines at in their headspace i showed you this knight of cups well right next to it we have the knight of swords this is someone who really may want to reach out with you with an apology during this separation they could feel like they messed up things in the past as well perhaps you guys are both um different paced energies perhaps you are very slow and courteous and this person is just very straight to the point um but they're very well balanced. I mean, one of them is very calm, but the other one is very go, go, go. So this person during the separation, they, they're they reminded of just how balanced your energies can be together. Although you may differ, you two are quite the same. Um, in their headspace, they're really, again, just, they want to come see you. They want to engage with you, but they could be this very bashful energy that is just not 
not someone who's willing to really step forth, but then at the next step, they may be very full of themselves, very self-confident. We have the King of Pentacles right next to that. So this person could flip the switch just like that with how they present themselves to you. If this is someone you are in a relationship with that you live with and that you're in just a little bit of a separation, this person does really miss you and want to come back to you. They, you're a very calming energy for them and perhaps during the separation, they're required to be a very go, 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 very active, very stimulated person for the sake of their job. Perhaps they're someone who's very respected in their workplace and they're able to secure that bag. So money is very important to them. Um, we also have, again, that would be an earth sign, so Capricorn, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but this person is very money and work oriented because we also have the eight of pentacles right next to it. So in this, their headspace, they really want to come towards you. They really want to either apologize to you or um, court you, but this person really has to keep their head down and keep working. Perhaps they're not able to come towards you, but things left on a good note, but this person just having to stay busy at work and that may be for their own sanity because in their heart space, we have the Ten of Cups and the Fool. So I feel like this person really could have missed out on an opportunity with you. But also this person perhaps could be getting a little bit older in age. So perhaps they missed out on, again, their opportunity with you. This Ace of Pentacles next to the Fool and the Ten of Cups. This person could have had it all with you. But things kind of left on a silly turn perhaps. Um, it was very foolish of them. But they really want that opportunity with you back because they have the Three of Swords right next to there. This person loves you and I feel like they're very heartbroken over your separation. Although it wasn't a horrible breakup or perhaps over time it has softened. But this person is really getting a lot of perspective about what they would have done instead. How they would have handled situations in the past. How they would have reacted. Um... Perhaps they prioritized work over your guys' relationship. And now this person is just really wondering if they're ever going to be able to find a partnership like yours, a family like yours that you could have built together. It's a really, truly a missed opportunity that this person could have taken for granted. And now they're very sorrowful. And I feel like this person has a lot of heartbreak energy towards you. They want you to want them back because they would do anything to take this opportunity again and put you first and foremost. So, I hope this resonated with you guys. If it did, please let me know down in the comments. You can give my video a like or you can subscribe to see more of my videos. And also check out the description box. I offer personalized readings for really good prices. And I'm also on other social medias. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.